All right, so we're gonna do a real quick one today because I said I was gonna make this forever ago. Um, we're covering macros. So if you're sick of typing home slash guest slash jump file every five minutes, then this is, this is what you wanna see. Now, the way that you make a macro is if you are in your root directory, if you go to root, config, and then you make a folder called macros. As you can see, I already have one here because I have a demonstration inside of it. So inside macros, I have something named SSH. So what does that mean? So that means when I launch Viper and I use the at symbol, anything after that is the name of the file that you've created the macro in. Now, I'm not gonna show you the contents of that because it has the IP and password and all that stuff in it. But so what I could do is at SSH, right? And now I have done the SSH process to get into my other machine and I can automate that every time. So that's, so and essentially the saves you a lot of keystrokes when you're doing a lot of the same behaviors, right? Like when you're adding a Metasploit library, when you're, you know, adding our shell stuff, you know, when you're creating a jump a file, uh, all these, these are all, all good reasons um, to use some macros. So let's say, for example, let's say, for example, um, let's use a very, a widely used one. Um, so let's say we need to put the Metasploit library somewhere. So we would open up Notepad, okay? And I have my command right here, which is put lib Metasploit SL slash home slash guest, right? We need to do this every single time. So we're gonna save it, and we're gonna save it in macros, and we're gonna call it, we'll just call it put, right? So let's say, um, Let's clear the screen. Let's just do it. Look at that. It works, right? So let's do another one. Let's do the let's do the next step in that process, which is our git lib, right? Um, and so we would launch another notepad, right? And we can paste this command, right? Git lib home guest met exploit home guest jump file. Okay, and we'll call this git lib. Okay. Oh, I put it somewhere else. Let's try that one more time. Config macros git lib. Okay, so now we have git lib. And well, we can do jump guests is pretty easy. So so we have all these things. Um, so let's let's uh, let's put it into practice. Let, let's do a let's do a quick one. I probably won't go through the whole mission unless it's super easy. But um, this is a good way just to test. So let's get a level zero job. The simplest le level zero job. Okay, we'll just take this one. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's go to the mail. So we've made our macros. Okay, so we're at our home computer, right? So I do at SSH. Boom, so now I'm in my SSH machine. So now we'll do an end map on that public. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is, it's a level zero, but so let's say that I needed to get into the current, the router. Um, oh, you know what? I will, I will probably modify my SSH thing. I'm not gonna open it up because it has all my creds in it, but I'm gonna use this add var lib zero in that macro. That way I don't have to keep typing this every time, which I don't know why I've never thought about that till now, but here we are. Um, so let's do the public on port zero to get into the kernel. And let's uh, let's put these macros into action, right? Okay, we have a guest shell. Right, so we are in a shell right now. So we could do at put. Look at that, okay? Now we could do at git lib. Oh, jump guest, right? And then at 
Gitlib. Look at that, dude. Look at that. The whole process in a couple of commands. So this is more of an optimization thing. Once you get more comfortable in the environment, you start just start thinking about the things that you type all the time and make a macro for it. I, I had this on my old box before I got blown up and I had a lot of cool commands. It's just taken me a long time to get back to it. But these videos have actually <clears throat> pushed me to kind of get back, back to best practice just to kind of demonstrate. Um, I'm probably not gonna go any farther than this. I'll probably, uh, you know, let's see if I can do like that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, let's tr let's try this really quick. I need to mm, cor corrupt the logs on this. Uh, let's just get in here real quick, just for just for completion's sake. All guessed, really. Just give me something easy, real quick. Let's see, what do we got? What else we got? Try 25. Okay, so now we can use four cat etc slash password. There it is. There's our root. Um, so now we're gonna do a little crack here. And then we're gonna go back. So now I'm back in shell, right? So then we can do sudo root sssss uh, slash home slash guest slash jump file. So I think in this case, let's try something. So I need to do home slash guest slash jump file. So let's do this. Cause I actually don't know the answer to this. So once again, we are learning together. Cause what I'm curious is if I do, um, if I was doing sudo root pass and then the jump file name, I wonder if I can add the macro onto the end. I actually don't know the answer to that. So let's call home slash guest slash jump file okay and we're gonna save that in our macro folder and we're just gonna call it home hmm we'll call it jump okay uh, so let's clear this I'm not sure if it like if I need to restart my session or not I'll figure out at some point so let's do sudo root s s s s s and then at jump jump file does not exist did i do something wrong okay it's there rm Okay, so we'll try to remove at jump. So I can't do it that way either. Um, home slash home slash guest slash jump file. And then we'll do an rm slash home slash guest slash jump file dot src. Okay, so now we'll do a jump guest. And then we'll do sudo root sssss at jump. Hmm, jump file does not exist. Did I do something wrong there? Command home guest jump file. I'm just trying to figure out why that happens. Well, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna keep digging, but I just wanted to make a real quick video just to let you know that there is a way to automate a lot of these keystrokes. Um, and if you know some of the answers to some of my macro questions, please let me know. Um, Cause this is, you know, I've always had the basics, but I'm not sure what the limits and constraints are for um, macro insertion into other commands. Don't know how that works. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I've been super busy, so you probably won't get a video for a little while. But obviously, as always, I I'm really a nobody. So you just comment 
below if you're having any issues. I'll probably get with you. Or maybe I'll make a whole video on, on the problem that you have. It, it helps the both of us and I can, you know, I get to learn more. So anyways, have a good one, guys.